Woods ready. Henderson's ready. Let's do it in the Bronx. Foul back and we're underway. The 0 1. 0 and 2. And side winding, and it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. Dominated the youngster. One away. One and oh. Last night. And that guarantees them a 500 record. Two and one. Nobody saw that. In fact, they looked at the Orioles as a dead friend. Three one. Three and two. Kind of shake your head and figure out why you didn't make contact. Swing and a miss. Two way. Here's the rookie, Rushman. Much different player against left handed pitch. One and one. It's a new feature, Paulie. I never. Form and now, you know, we've gone to the. We've upgraded to the hoodie. Strike three. And the Yankees are up 3 0. Hayes fouls it back. Well, the playoff field walk off home run in the ninth inning, and that's their first playoff appearance in 21 years. And around the place was jammed here yesterday. It was crazy in Seattle. Obviously, Atlanta, obviously Atlanta had a, a sellout crowd as well. So way back when we were in that nasty kingdom, and it was so loud, they didn't know what else to do. It was such a Cleveland by eight, so pretty good shape there. And home runs, well, he pretty much wrapped that one up. 23 ahead of Mike Trout. McKenna goes deep to right, but he can't get it over. From Aaron Judge. There's Cedric Mullins. Pitch outside. Mullins celebrating his 28th birthday. And a bunt. Push bunt foul. Did you see Judge? Popped up behind the plate. And the one two from the side. Two and two. There. Swing and a miss. Two, one and oh. Now we took the deep dive on the replay and it see both at the same time. Hard for one yeah, umpire to make actually, that call. I mean, he was on the base, and again, there's uh, it's a strange rule that you could just throw right there. You have replays to think that's what the third base umpire saw and called it out on that, which again, on the replay shows that uh, he was. You know what the recourse is, Michael, is exactly what to do. You make eye contact with the third base umpire. Oh, it's a buck. Oh, and two. I One and two. Did I get that right, Oswald? Swing and a tip into the glove of Higashioka. Mickey Mouse. And, um, nah. Double play. You're going to have to find out about him in a moment. 6-4. Reflect your love for the Bronx Bombers. We might spotlight you in a future game. Gunnar Henderson swings and misses as we start the fourth. So over three innings, he's walked one. And that runner was erased via the double play by Chirinos. So Oswald the cartoon. Right. The hello. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I remember Squiggy had a beautiful hair, dude. Didn't yes, he? he did. That voice. Two, two. Fouled away. Well, Gunnar Henderson. 
Swing and a miss. He's been overpowered. One and oh. Paul the <laughs> fouled away, two and two. Right in the belly of pop out of bed. You have to. If you stand oh. up, it goes away. And here's the payoff. He walked him. Second walk against seven strikes. Coney, in your opinion, as a pitcher, though, because you always say, you know, how aggressive he is, not afraid to throw strikes. It was on the Orioles with Buck Showalter was there. Out to Seattle for a minute. Found his way back to the. One and two. Hence the invisible. Popped up. Shallow center. Oh, a nice play by Glaber Torres. And so you would just like heal up. That's my big supplement, you know, that keeps you young. That'll take away those cramps, too, Coney. I'm Now, David, I'm going to bring it all up. And he ended up scouting for the Angels and the Mariners as well. Fly ball to Judge. Amazing. Thank you, Bob. We go to the fifth inning. And Ryan McKenna jumps on the first pitch and chops it to Donaldson. One pitch, one out. Here we go. And Seattle. So, David, you'll like this because you brought this up earlier in the year. It's proof positive that we are living in a computer simulation. He said somebody's just playing games with us. Did that happen? You think it's a simulation? It's a simulation. And we're all just pieces in the puzzle, right? <laughs> computer tells you to go. <laughs> Strike three. Mullins down looking. He has struck out the Astros. It's still up in the air in the National League. Because we have to find out Braves. Line drive and over the leaping try of Peraza into left field. And Cabrera cuts it off in the gap and fires it in. 0 Odor runs it to Rizzo, steps on the bag, and that will. David so to keep him in your holster. I guess. Uh, 20 years, 30 years, I don't know. Well, that was a little embarrassing because I got benched because of my own doing. So I did get myself back in the lineup, but you know, it did not. I go in, I said, Skip, what's up? He's like, and like the way he ran the ball out. And so we sat and talked, and I got back in the lineup, but he made a point without, you know, Frustrated, we were getting beat, and I hit the 16 hopper to the the, the second baseman that uh, I shouldn't have, and just have to do to catch the eye of your manager. And also uh, at Fenway, you can base dugout, right, Paul? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's a, it's a weird much. Nice. You give up a rocket mm -hmm. off the wall, and you're like, ah, you get your dabber down. <laughs> Boy, the youngster. So Peraza moves essentially a second base. There's a strike. The dirt, two on each side of second base. Oh, and two. oh, here it is, rocking and dealing. Swing and a miss. Nestor showing it off. And the pitch to Rushman is low. Paul, you experienced it. Yeah, you try not to get out of, uh, you know, the focus of your game, but it, it's very hard because, you know, your judge has been going through it for, for a month. The culmination of a magical year this year. All the strikeouts when we first saw his trademark, Paul, really in the minor leagues. Every year he got better and better.
He obviously has all in Lindsey Adler in the athletic. Uh, they talked to his personal hitting coach as Rushman down on strikes. And David, you've taken a deep coiling on his back leg, his back hip. There's a strike. Little hump back line drive caught by Tor has a little bit more of a leg kick than Bonds did. Bonds kind of slid the leg back, but pretty remarkable how the swing arcs. Remember, Coney Bonds used to actually choke up a little bit. He used a very short back, so it was. One, two. You no know, hitters in Pauly. Ground ball to Torres. What an incredible seven innings. Mullins against Cortez, 0 1. I guess think of it this way the, the end of the inning is four runs on the board. One and one. Yep. That was like, you know what? Okay. One and two. You don't. Well, I don't know Spencer Watkins. Uh, I mean, I, I know that he kind of pitched around Aaron Judge, and he, you just got to realize it.